Hello everyone, it is a filthy back with another deck of you. Today we're looking at the Loose Skull and Bones Festival Edition from Conjuring Arts, designed by Jackson Robinson. And pricey. These are like 30 bucks just to point that out there. Pretty pretty pricey. Front of the box is not lined up. <laughs> you can see the skull is not lined up. It's a skull in holographic foil. Lots of spot UV ink skulls on there as well. This clear ink <clears throat> which is very cool and you more that on the one side it says EPCC extra point guard with the skull on the other side I guess the bottom says printed by extra point guards in the People's Republic of China oh good that my decks are awesome why does this decks always get produced in China um I don't get it. here we got a skull it says EPCC not centered properly of course and then you got a seal on the other side, custom seal, with these skulls. And it says that it's the expert point guard company, Skull and Bones, and it's 64 out of 1,000 is the one I got. Pretty limited number. New York, New York. In fact, I don't think there's even shipped to most customers. I was lucky, fortunate to get them early. So I want to thank Conjuring Arts for that. And then on the back, you see a nice shiny holographic Skull and Bones. The cards actually have magnetic uh, clasps inside, so you can actually feel it, hear it. If you get a close in, it's there, boom. Which I think is pretty cool. It is what they call a shoulder and neck top case. Shoulder, uh, neck and shoulder. And, there you see it, pretty cool. Very solid. The um, <clears throat> cards are fairly straightforward. Here's the back design, by the way. Holographic foil, perfecto foil, as they call it. They've gone to the point where they can get very intricate with the foil, as you can see, and it's very sighty. It is mirror image, don't worry. Um, but it's the same skull and bones back design we've seen a few times now. The Joker is just like the previous decks, Joker in the corner, this little uh, Jack in a Box, Jack in a Cat, he's superior brand logo on it, Expert Point Guard Company, superior brand point guards, New York, New York. The other one's the same, except it's in black, and Jack is popped out. <laughs> and the Ace of Spades, Skull and Bones, the Expert Point Guard Company, superior brand, superior brand point guards, New York, New York. It's very nice. Now, you would have expected, I, I was half expecting to see Jackson Robinson's signature kind of standard court cards in this deck. Nope. <laughs> you get the standard expert point card company court cards and number cards. They are nicely recolored. If you like that. There's that. Um, these... I don't know what they were printed on. I'm guessing it's a master finish, but I'm not 100% sure. I think that's what they usually use, and that's what they used on their other deck, which we'll get to soon. The exquisite boulder. The handle, okay, they're very, very uh, smooth ish and kind of oily. Some people don't like that too much. Kind of oily, not entirely. So they're they handle very nicely, that's for sure. That's the type of finish you get, kind of a smoother finish. But it's pretty nice. Overall, it is rather expensive, but it is very unique in having holographic foil, which for some reason they were unable to do on his legal tender decks, but they're able to do here. Go figure. Um, <clears throat> I guess they've finally perfected it, if you will. But the handle's good, it looks pretty cool. I like the back design, I like the holographic color. It's a nice top case, fairly limited. Um, as you can tell, only a thousand going to this. And I got 64, which is awesome. And <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say uh, nine out of 10, it would probably be higher if it wasn't so expensive. <laughs> so, how does that? Comment, rate, subscribe. I think they might still be available at Conjuring Arts website, but they probably won't last too long because they're pretty limited and very unique. Though the price does turn off some people on sir. But anyways, that is that.
comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Special thanks to Conjuring Arts for getting these out early to me. And um, also special thanks to my sponsor, Red Fees Magic. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, very quickly, I forgot to mention. Anirin actually has a quote. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. See? Yeah. Zach Robinson would put a kind of a Bible quote on there, but it's a nice little additional thing I forgot to mention. I apologize. So that is that. See you next time.